Hey, afternoon, everybody. You know, uh, after last night's, last night's Monday Night Raw, and even though I didn't see it because I was watching um, the championship game, the, the BCS championship game, and as well as eating some dinner, uh, I, I I did, however, read the spoilers. Well, not the spoilers, but the typed-in results off PWI Torch, uh, off the PWI Torch app on my um, on my i on my iPod. So anyway, here's the deal. I'm watching. I mean, I'm reading this, and then on occasions I did kind of switch it over to see what was going on, and I read that. CM Punk, who is the new leader of Nexus, is going to do an initiation. He's going to initiate guys, um, Otunga, Harris, McGillicuddy, Gabriel, and Slater. He's going to initialize them into the new, what he calls the new Nexus. So. At first, I'm thinking, well, they're already part of Nexus. Why do they need to be initialized? And you know, what's funny is that when I was watching it, I noticed, and I and I read and I read this on the uh, on the app on the uh, on the report as it was being, you know, uh, you know, s- updated almost 15, 20 minutes, or every 20 minutes. Uh, I was reading this, and as, as, and I also watched it, and it seems that Nexus has gone from this logo here, this logo right here, that they originally started with, to the broken logo, which is kind of like a newspaper article broken into pieces with them in action, which I thought was pretty cool. I thought this logo and the first one were okay. That's cool. It's got the N on there. It represents Nexus. Then, however, the t-shirts I saw him wearing last night still had the N on the on the on the uh, arm on the arm area but on the arm sleeve I should say on the arm sleeve but it didn't have the N in the middle instead what it had in the middle was this that's right it had CM Punk's straight edge glove or straight edge tape fist up in the air with the lightning bolt, the circle around it, and painted yellow. Now we had seen that about a couple weeks before and it was painted white. So you think to yourself, well what does this mean? Well apparently this is the new logo of the new Nexus. But this could also mean what a lot of people are afraid of. It could mean that Nexus is going straight edge. That's right. This could turn out the new Nexus could become the straight edge Nexus. Instead of the SES, we could have the SEN, the straight edge Nexus. I mean, and the way he initialized them, it's it's almost like, are you kidding me? It's like, are you kidding me? You you initialize a member into the group by one having them beat having them beat down by the other members of the group which he did to McGillicuddy. Two, you have them, you have each member including yourself whip the other member that you're initializing in the back with whips which they did to Harris. Then you have the guy that rebelled against the original leader go out down to the ring after you've interrupted the big show who's a guest on Raw from Smackdown and you literally have him slap the big show in the face and then take a beating from the world's largest athlete. And this is how you initialize the group members into your group. The only two that really didn't probably go through the initiation was Justin Gabriel and Heath Slater. Now the question is, what's going to happen to them? Well, they may stay on Raw and may become baby faces. Or they may end up on SmackDown and align themselves with Wade Barrett as the original Nexus, which I think would probably be a good good idea. But then again, they could have passed the initiation when they turned and when they turned towards Punk and it looked like they were going to hit him, but they didn't. So three questions are raised from that one 
from the fact that Gabriel and Slater did not go through with their initiation. Even though Punk said you're either in or out. So the question is, did they pass because they didn't hit him? Or are they out and now probably heading to the SmackDown to become part of the original Nexus with Wade Barrett? That's the question. And, you know, some people said it was just weird last night. I mean, it was just weird. I mean, when they had uh, John Cena doing his address about what has happened, they had CM Punk on top of the Titan Tron on a harness. And they had him lowered down from this harness. And some people, and somebody said this was almost like a slap in the face of what, of Owen Hart. Like this was sort of like a slap in the face of Owen Hart because Owen had a harness and he fell to his death. We all know that. But the question is, but the question is, what is the future of Nexus now? Are they just a name? Are they following the same pattern that the NWO followed when they got brought into WWE? Because let's not forget, when the NWO got brought into WWE, everybody was happy about it. They were hope that this was something that a lot of fans were waiting to see. NWO, the the very group, the very rebellious group that turned wrestling upside down, made it into the rebellious. Turned it uh, basically turned it upside down. Turned it into the rebellious. Um. Turned it into the rebellious time, rebellious era that we knew of, if you will. You know, this was an op- This was something back in 2002 that fans were happy to see, because here was the, like I said, the very group that turned WCW, turned the wrestling world upside down, let basically help lead the rebellious attitude error of wrestling you know basically ushered it in and now here they were in WWE the very company that they were helping to put out trying to put they were help, trying to help put out of business when they went WCW but unfortunately they didn't last as long in WWE as they did in WWE WWE as long as they like they did in WCW no they came in in February and they died off in the summer. That was it. So basically you had February, March, April, May, June, and then come July, that was it. Only five months of NWO and that was it. They were gone. They were gone. So the question is now, is Nexus heading in that same direction? Is this new logo that looks like a logo for the straight edge version of Nexus the logo that spells doom for Nexus. I mean, were they better off with the original logo and even a more improved version of it? Were they okay with this original logo or this more improved version? See, that's the question. That's the question. Will the straight edge logo that debuted last night be the end of Nexus overall? Because it looks like the way they were reinitiated, the way they were brought into this new nexus, if you will, it looks like they're becoming the straight edge nexus. That's the only way I could look at it. I mean, people at ADTV have voiced their opinions. People at the Wrestling Guru have, Gurus have voiced their opinions. I'm sure anybody on YouTube, Daily Motion, on the wrestling message boards all over have all voiced their opinions that if this version of Nexus goes in the direction of straight edge, it's going to ruin it. So the question is, is this logo going to ruin it? Is this the signal of straight edge Nexus? And if that's the case, is Nexus going to fall apart because of this? You know, that's the ultimate question. What's going to happen? Is Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel going to end up on SmackDown and form and come together with Ray Barrett as the original Nexus? Which I think if that was to happen, it would be a great idea. But will it happen? See, that's the thing. Because quite honestly, a lot of fans are going to look at this original Nexus logo as well as the broken glass one or the broken up one and say that these are the logos that help make Nexus what it is today. And they're going to look at the straight edge logo that we're looking at and they're going to say this logo is going to kill Nexus. 
that's gonna it's gonna it's gonna kill it because all it's turning into is the straight edge version of Nexus, straight edge society version of Nexus. That's what a lot of fans are gonna look at. So the question is, so the question is, is this new logo that debuted last night, if you will, of Nexus gonna spell the end for them? Is that is is that the signal? Excuse me. Again, like I said, is that the signal? Is that is is that the is that the nail? Is that going to be the final nail in the coffin? That will be the ultimate question. That is going to be the ultimate question. Is this going to be the final nail in the coffin of Nexus, or will many will WWE wake up and realize we can't do this this way? We got to go back to what it was. But again, is this the final nail in the coffin? Because as somebody pointed out, you got five of the original seven members gone. David Otunga is the only original member. McGillicuddy and Harris were added in after Hell in the Cell. We all know that. They were added in after Hell in the Cell. So McGillicuddy and Harris have been there since October. Otunga has been there since about May. So he's been there from the beginning. And for him to stay in the group... All because basically I don't know why, and then have Slater and Gabriel go off and probably go to SmackDown maybe and join Barrett as part of the original Nexus. We don't know what's going to happen. So the question is, so the question is, is this new Straight Edge version logo of Nexus going to spell doom for them? And were they were they better off just using the regular logo? Because yes, they still have the N on the side of the arms, on the side of the t-shirts they wear. But the question is, was it better just to have the N out where they could see it and know who you are, instead of having this saying, you know, hey, we represent the straight edge nexus. The question is, which is better? And is this new logo go the uh, spelling of the end of nexus? That's the thing. That's the question I want to know. Because... In case some of you don't real, don't know this, in case some of you haven't been following lately, even though you're probably fans of WWE and you're fans of Nexus, here's how everything I've just talked about came about. All right, Wade Barrett lost to John Cena in a chairs match at the TLC pay-per-view in December. CM Punk, the next night, revealed himself as the new leader of Nexus. Now. At first, a lot of people thought that CM Punk was the higher power that Wade Barrett had been talking about. Instead, Wade Barrett comes out the following week, accuses Punk of lying and using Nexus for his own gain, and basically telling Punk, hey, you're not the leader, I am. So what happens is an agreement is made. Because there's a triple threat steel cage match that night, where you had Randy Orton, taking a, where you had Randy Orton and Sheamus, but you also had somebody else. And that somebody else was either going to be Barrett or Punk. So Barrett steps in and says, hey, I'll take the spot. And an agreement is made. Basically, if Bar the agreement is if Barrett wins, becomes number one contender, Barrett is the leader of Nexus and CM Punk will follow him. But if Barrett loses, he's out. So long story short, just when it looks like Barrett's going to climb out of the cage and win the match, CM Punk comes down, and you think at first he's going to help Barrett out and they're going to put the differences aside, but instead, Punk re rips the armband off Barrett, and Barrett gets kicked down to the to the bottom of the cage, and ends up losing the match. Then Barrett last week shows up on SmackDown attacking the Big Show. So now that leads us into where we were last night. So now the question is again: Is this obvious? Is this what it looks like to be straight edge version of Nexus? going to be the end of Nexus in general, overall. Because like I said, the logos that you have seen flash at the beginning and in the middle, those logos represent the original Nexus. Everybody would look at those logos and they would say, that's the Nexus that would have succeeded. But, or it was better. But, they look at this one and the question will, and the question is raised, is this the logo the new logo of Nexus, the Straight Edge logo of Nexus, is that the spelling of the end of Nexus overall? Is the Straight Edge Nexus, the S-E-N, apparently what it looks like, going to be the end of Nexus? 
That's the obvious question. Nobody really knows. I don't. I'm no fan knows. I mean, after the stunts they pulled last night, the way they initiated some of the members, you know, and and the fact that you have Punk and you had, the fact that you had Gabriel and Slater walk off, either you know, leaving up, leaving another question up in the air: Are they still a part of the group? Or are they not? I mean, having Punk on top of the Titan Tron on a harness, I mean. <laughs> I mean, what the hell is going on? You know, what the fuck is going on? That's the question. Question that WWE is trying to throw at us. Hopefully, this upcoming week, some people within the wrestling business, insiders, reporters, whatever, from No DQ to Wrestling News World to PWI Torch, hopefully can maybe find out some answers. Because this is literally not... This is literally raising a lot of questions, which I know WWE loves, loves because it's making the fa- making people talk. But the question is, from obvious fans that like Nexus, is Punk leading Nexus as the new is Punk being the new leader of Nexus and this new logo of Nexus, which looks like a straight edge, which looks like it represents the straight edge Nexus, the CSN as I call it. Is that spelling the end of Nexus overall? That's the question. Will it spell the end? I don't know. So, that's all I'm going to say about it. Tell me what you guys think. I'm out.